Well, the number one agenda, given what happened the previous year, is talking to clients and regulators who are here, getting their views on things we can do, not only as Morgan Stanley, but as an industry. What can we do to mitigate the kind of risk that took over in 2008 and carried into 2009? Now, we may get ideas from them on regulatory changes. Uh, we may get ideas on the kind of risk we take, what's expected from the industry in underwriting risk. I'm sure there are views on compensation. I want to hear about those. So here's a chance to reach out and meet and spend time with not only associates and clients, but regulators, some politicians, about what do we do going forward and how do we make sure what happened in 08 and 09 doesn't happen again. I think the number one issue is regulation. We need to find some link to bring regulators around the world together in a more a systematized way of communicating and understanding risk. I think what we've learned, and, and we should have known this, it's not new, it's a global economy, it's global financial service. And when one problem develops, whether it's too much leverage or an asset bubble or whatever it may be, it's going to affect other markets around the world. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how do we augment our regulators? How do we connect them? And I believe, and I've said this to the uh, Congress and other hearings that I've been at, that we need to figure out a way that we have a systemic risk manager and making sure that they have the resources to understand, monitor, and help regulate our industry. Well, I think the theme of this year's meeting has already taken place. I mean, all of the firms on a global basis are doing exactly that. We're rethinking, we're rebuilding, reshaping our industry. If you look the way we're working with regulators, I've never had so much contact, not as uh, a firm that reports to a regulator, but clearly we're doing that, but working with regulators to come up with a better set of systems and, and oversights on how the business operates. You know, we've always said we're global firms, and we are global firms, but what's missing is tying regulatory oversight together on a global basis. So when we redesign this business, we need to make sure that our regulators, working with clearly the people who report to them, need to work on coming up with systems that, it, that make sure they get the information and the data they need to see the whole picture. No one firm, uh, no matter how big they are, is going to see what's going on on a global basis. We will see bits and pieces of it. But our regulators should see it all, and they should have enough information where they can give us guidance, and in some cases, maybe give us orders on things we can do or should do or should not do. So as you rethink how this business uh, works, as you uh, re-engineer, redesign, rebuild, we need to figure out, are we giving our regulators the information they need? And do they have the support system and the resources to manage this global financial markets that we're all very active in? So I think the big challenge is that. How do we make sure we have a much better regulatory system? The other challenge, and I think most firms have done this, clearly Morgan Stanley has done it, we have really rebuilt our risk management systems. We have a lot more people. We work with models. We have more IT resources focused on that. So we really rethought our business, and the number one thing, we have to make sure that our risk management system are cutting edge and are tied into our regulators. So I think, you know, look, it's been very painful for 08 and 09. We've gotten through it. We've learned a lot. And all of us are rethinking and rebuilding our businesses.